Hi everyone, it's Sherry at Fabrics and Memories. Um, I have something new to share with you. My new little grandson, he's about five months old now. I was told no more quilts, too many quilts. So instead of making him a quilt like I did all my other grandchildren, I made him an activity blanket. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. I've got a Velcro closure, of course. <laughs> and you just open it up. And there you have it. And it was really quite easy, a little time consuming, but very easy. These blocks are just nine. I cut have a template for a nine and a half by nine and a half block square. So I cut all of them that. Um, I'm always for t educating kids, so I made it primary colors. So one of the things that sh his mother can teach him is the colors. You know, put teddy bear on the orange square. Put teddy bear on the blue square. Um, I sewed them all together. The only different thing I did was, you can see some of them have appliques on them. And I just cut pieces out of other fabrics and appliqued them. So then she could say, find the puppies. Where's the fire truck? Look at the teddy bears. How many teddy bears? The other thing was I attached grow grain ribbon into little vel loops for, with Velcro. I can undo it with one hand. I'm sure he'll have it aced in no time flat. I'm going to set this down so I can undo this. And I have 11 of these. So here I got these little <coughs> toys from Target. They're all BPA free and they've got can be pulled off if he wants to figure out how to use Velcro. And there's 11 of them. Some of them have, she's got a whole bunch of toys so I know she'll have some to attach of his favorites. And even one on the end here. But just stick them in there and then he can crawl around to grab at them. I made the middle section here. I it did a little extra padding on this. The only I didn't do padding, this is just 100% cotton front and the back is just um, that anti-pile fleece you get at Joann's is all. But then I put a little bit of that fleece, a second layer, here just in the square, this middle square right here. That way that's where he's going to be sitting all the time so I thought it would be soft for him to sit on but also if he happens to fall asleep a little bit more cushion for, you know, for his head. The only other thing specific I did was I put the toys all on the outside um, of the square again so when he's sitting here he crawls outwards to get to the toys um, instead of you know having in the middle and him sitting on them <laughs> and uh, these are just squares but these I made half squares uh, they're called half square triangles in quilting but all you do is you cut a blue square nine and a half and a print square nine and a half lay them right sides together so a draw a line corner to corner sew on that line and then you pull one of them over there like that you just you pull it over if you if you did it and the blue was on top you pull this one blue over and then you'd have the blue square with the print showing it's kind of hard um, google how to do a half square triangle and that'll tell you pretty cool how to do it. They're pretty easy, very easy actually. But I did those on each of the corners just to give a little more color with all those prints, the little animal prints there, and then kind of to break it up also. And then I just did your average quilting binding. Um, I cut it two and a quarter inches, folded it in half, pressed it, and then sewed the raw edges onto the back and then rolled the f that front over to the front so this would be the fold and then use a serpentine stitch to go around and hold it down. It is pretty quick, pretty easy. The only part that took time was the extra appliques and if you don't want to put them on, you don't have to put them on. Um, maybe just buy the fabric that has all of those dogs on it and make the, the whole square of the dogs. I just happened to wanted to go with more 
of the primary colors. So that's it. And then when you want to fold it up, you find this end. So you know you're going to be folding inside like this. And just thirds. And then this over like that. I, of course, put my little tag on it. Fold this up. And then you just loop that Velcro strip in, pick it down, pick it up, ready to go. It holds all the toys in there just nice. Nothing's falling out this way. She can carry it with her if she takes it somewhere. Or just know that no mess. Perfect toy for a kid, a no mess toy. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you can make your little, little granddaughter, grandson, or your own daughter or son one. Thanks for watching. Bye.